It's a nearly $2 billion investment, replacing trains, buses, and adding seats to all equipment over the next couple of decades. The purpose of it is to, to keep our fleet young and in a state of good repair, so we are better able to serve the customer and provide that satisfaction. Transit plans to replace all single-level rail cars with the multi-level, or double-deckers, by 2020. It'll allow them to decrease the overall number of trains in operation while increasing the number of seats by about 6%. The fleet plan includes the purchase of electric locomotives along with multi-level uh, coaches as well as dual power locomotives as well. As ridership continues to increase, transit officials say these changes will help meet the demands. For 2014, the average weekday trips by rail was nearly 300,000. Bus service was half a million and light rail a little over 66,000. It's very crowded, like especially in the mornings and sometimes depends on the, the day, like today was a little bit bad. But um, it's, it would be a good thing, I think, because what would happen is you get more people get seats and you don't have people crowding in with the, their bikes and it, sometimes it gets a little hectic. Right now, there are five different types of rail cars being used in the fleet, but New Jersey Transit officials say they'll knock that down to just two over the next 20 years or so, and they'll both be multi-level cars. They say because not only do they provide for a greater seating capacity, but because they travel faster, too. On the bus side, we have purchased CNG buses as well as hybrid buses. In addition to that, we've purchased Suburban. We've completed the delivery, the successful delivery of 1,200 Suburban and Transit buses. The current cruiser buses in service are in the process of being swapped out for those with about eight more seats per bus. It's a long-term process because we are continuously replacing our fleet. As our fleet ages, we replace it. Light rail is also getting added capacity through the use of vehicle extenders, and Access Link riders will see new minibuses every five to seven years. In Newark, I'm Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.